Hi, I'm Dr. Anand Raman, Consultant Endocrinologist at Magna Clinic for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at Bangalore. Adrenal glands. What are adrenal glands? Adrenal glands are two small uh, glands uh, which are located uh, on top of the kidney. They are endocrine glands. Endocrine meaning their secretion is actually uh, put into the, thrown into the blood directly. So adrenal glands have two components. One is the cortex and then the medulla. Cortex is the covering layer and the medulla is the inner layer. The cortex actually produces the steroid hormones, corticosteroids, aldosterone and uh, uh, the sex hormones also. DHEAS is again a sex hormone. So that again is produced from the adrenal gland. The adrenal medulla produces, uh, you know, some peptide hormones, which are the smaller component. The large component is actually adrenaline and noradrenaline. These are stress hormones, fright or flight hormones that are actually produced from the adrenal gland. So what do the adrenal glands do? Adrenal glands are actually necessary for uh, uh, normal survival in a human being. So whenever there is a sudden stress, there is an increased output of adrenaline and noradrenaline from the adrenal glands and also increased production of cortisol and also the hormone aldosterone which is so much uh, necessary for salt and water metabolism is actually produced from the adrenal gland. So whenever there is a dehydration, the aldosterone production actually increases from the adrenal and it retains the salt and water in our kidneys and uh, retains the body water. So on a hot summer day, the aldosterone production will be more and on a stressful day the cortisol production will be more and uh, will keep our metabolism going and uh, these are basically fright and flight hormones cortisol adrenaline noradrenaline all these things help us to cope with day to day stress what are the symptoms of adrenal insufficiency so you all know that adrenals are pretty important endocrine organs located on top of the kidney both the sides so what do they actually do and when they are not working what are the symptoms that can be there so uh, when the adrenal glands are not working if it is an acute dysfunction patient can actually present with uh, hypotension or inability to maintain the blood pressure repeated vomiting not being able to keep any food down and uh, low blood pressure could be a feature of acute adrenal insufficiency so when you look at chronic adrenal insufficiency or a slowly developing adrenal insufficiency their symptoms can be a little bit more complex actually. Patient usually complains of loss of appetite and weight loss and also loss of libido can be there, reduced uh, sexual thoughts and feelings and also reduced hair growth especially in the pubic and axillary region can be a feature of adrenal insufficiency. In primary adrenal insufficiency, dark pigmentation of the skin is a cardinal feature. So you can have pigmentation in the knuckle around the nipples. So these are signs of Addison's disease or a primary adrenal insufficiency. So and salt craving can be there because of uh, mineralocorticoid deficiency, the aldosterone deficiency can cause salt craving. So these are uh, some of the features of chronic adrenal insufficiency.